Hey, this is my review of the JG M16A2. Comes with a 300 round high cap full metal magazine. I bought a uh, Canadian variant like waffled magazine for better grip. I, I would I got this on Air Squat. All of this. I would not suggest this magazine. It's um it's hard to wind. It's hard to get the um the well thing open. Like I can't even do it now. I need to use like a knife. And yeah, and it doesn't come out of the magazine very well. I mean the magazine well very well. Uh, it comes with an 8.4 milliamp battery, battery on NICAD. I got an 8.4 milliamp just for longer battery life, and that's in the stock right now, so that's why I don't have it. Um, it comes with this uh, unjamming slash barrel cleaning tool, and it also comes with a uh, front sight adjustment tool, and I think it might come with a speed gun. This is just one I have from before. Um, metal parts, uh, the mock bolt that I removed, um, the two sling mounts, the front part of the barrel, the front sight, the rear sight assembly, the charging handle, the unjamming tool on a real M16A2, um, the dust cover, the magazine release, the selector switch, the slide release on a real M16, the trigger, and I think that's just about it. Um, a couple things, usually this dust cover locks and when you slide back the uh, charging handle, it pops open and removes the mock bolt. I was tired of having to hold this back while I did the hop up, so I got rid of the mock bolt. I have it around here somewhere. And then I did, yeah, uh, here it is. It's usually in there, and when you pull back the slide, it kind of slides back. I just pulled that out, and I also kind of broke the dust cover intentionally so it just stays open, so I have to deal with, um, you know, keeping, keeping it up and down. Uh, yes, yeah, fire selector switch right here. It's got a good snap when you put it into place. Um, and when you put it in, it's not going anywhere. It's very sturdy. Um, of course, the slide release and the unjamming button have no use. Uh, it's got two separate apertures. One is kind of big for CQB shooting, and then one is a lot uh, smaller for longer shots. Front sight is fully adjustable. It can go up and down. Um, yeah, on the butt pad, this is where the battery is held. I'm not, can you see that? Yeah, I think so. And you just push down on this little tab and pop it out and the battery's in there. Yeah, I'm not going to plug it in because I don't plan on shooting it, but yeah, it's pretty easy to get in. When I first got the gun, I didn't know how to put the battery in, so I had to unscrew this whole butt plate assembly thing to get the battery in. I now know you can just, there's a special way you get it in. But if you ever find you really cannot get your battery in there, just undo this screw and undo that screw, and this little metal thing will come off and you can just put it in that way. Uh, yeah, so... <sighs> Magazine, very good, feeds well, um, basic loading for M4 slash M16 magazines, and, uh, yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's just about it. It's FPS, it's like 330, um, it's got good range, about 130 feet, and, uh, hop up right here, it's normal, like all other M16s, and, um, yes.